Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, everybody. Today we are here with this week's trending topics. I am your host, Mr. Chopped, and today we are going to be touching on a few trending topics. You know, just a little pilot to see what you guys like, what you don't like. I'm still going to post screenshots and stuff too. Well, not screenshots, screen recordings and stuff like that too. But, you know, I just want to see if you guys would be interested in the trending topics and the topics that I think are trending topics. So today we are going to talk about the topics we are talking about is DDG, Claudia Jordan and the Breakfast Club, Scotty versus Razor, SA, if you know what SA means. Jason Lee show Tokyo Tony and Black China and pregnant street fighter was caught smoking in the club and Natalie and Tommy in the gym. The new videos that just surfaced with them on the gym. So I'm going to just go backwards because I know y'all looking for like the baddie content first. So Natalie and Tommy in the gym. Um, First of all, Disclaimer, disclaimer, I'm chilling and I'm cool right now, but I will start smoking halfway through this. So that's why we getting the serious topics out the way, because I know the baddies was. I kind of like fucked that up a little bit last night, but I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting my weed man weed to be that fire. So anyway, Natalie and Tommy in the gym. Tommy actually looked like she was, you know. Doing her thing in the gym. You see some sweat on her body. You don't know. You know how these like Instagram people and shit be. She could have threw some water on herself before she got online. But um, then like Tommy was showing us. I might put it in here. I might not. Who knows? But Tommy was showing us like she had like two black eyes or something. I'm sorry. What was that? That was my uh. My offer up thing. I'm trying to sell something on offer up. Excuse me. Um, Natalie and Tom. Well, Tommy, she had like these black eyes or something underneath her eyes. And she was like something, something. Somebody acquitted that to her. Maybe she was actually in a fight or something. Who knows? But the fight is going to be like 20. The fight is going to be on the 25th or the 26th. They said it was $40. Um... Cause I think they said the extra package for the the pay per view was going to be like forty dollars or something to see it. Um, I'll probably be seeing it on my free website. For those who want the free website, um, you know I, I need like virtual proof that you're not Zeus, so it doesn't get taken down. It's not my website though. Just to let y'all know, it's not my website, but I do watch my shows on there, so. You know, if you want that, I need like proof, proof that you don't work for Zeus, like Instagram or something. But anyway, then we see Natalie in the gym and Tommy was on Instagram. Like, you know, Natalie keep putting up these fake um, old gym videos. And I do think I seen that gym video a long time ago. I'm not even going to hold you, but it looked kind of like, you know, like an archive that wasn't released or whatever but that outfit and everything natalie got on it just came out today y'all can uh go type it up and see it this is filmed on the 15th so it just excuse me it just came out today so that's i mean that was that natalie like she was getting i don't know a part of me is like tommy gonna win but then a part of me is like natalie might fucking win low key just off the boxing tip like fighting 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 without like the extra weight of the gloves and all the extra technical shit oh excuse me tommy's whooping her but um yeah but natalie and the, the gym stuff and you know natalie talk a good game though natalie could get pieced up anyway let's talk about chris sean smoking um you know, I'm not going to go too hard in on Pregnant Street Fighter because people like people. You know what? You know what? No, 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 no. I'm going to have to save the Krishan content for y'all. I'm still going to talk about it right now. But we got to go to Scotty and Razor because I'm going to like the Dutch for 
Because at, at the Scotty and Razor, I'm going to start getting fried. Because I know I kind of, me- I didn't mess up my commentary, but it was really something more professional I could have said. But, you know, like I told y'all before, that we was kind of fire. So, Natalie, not Natalie, Razor and Scotty. Here's the thing. Okay, I understand Scotty might not have meant it in that way. And, you know, somebody else made me see it a different way. And I kind of do agree now. Like, I do have to change my stance on Scotty and Razor. Just because, you know, she said, you know, that tattoo was personal. And I understand everybody was touching on her and et cetera. But maybe it's just that pinch on how she touched her. Like, y'all got to remember... You're on the waistline. You get what I'm saying? And then there could be a whole bunch of other stuff going through Razor Head, like flashbacks or something that may have happened to her or like her hearing things about Scotty and Natalie because they was also saying like, you know, when Razor said, you know, I took your best friend, I took your best friend and she low key was sleeping with Natalie and y'all be failing to remember that. Natalie like was kissing persuasion from Batty South all in her fucking mouth at last um you know last season so you know if you missed it go look it's like towards one of the end episodes um so Natalie like Natalie might say like yeah you know I don't deal with females that are Natalie like you be I like it would not shock me if you and What's that guy named Jacob was having like threesomes and doing all this extra. Sh- so, I mean, I personally would not be shocked. Like I said, till this day, um, oh, somebody pointed out something good. too. they was like not the rainbow on, but they was like, um, if you peep at the beginning of the show, Natalie has said, had told Jacob not to say nothing about Scotty and. You know what I mean? Like when the show first started, like episode one. So that could be that. I mean, you know, but I personally probably think they they sleeping together. But I don't I, I don't think like Razor and Natalie sleeping together. But everybody was saying like it seemed like more animosity. And Razor did have a right to feel like she was sexually. I mean, you know, she was essayed because that's just, you know, some situations like space is space like. You know, even though Scotty was in her zone and she might be drunk and everything, you are pulling at the girl like panty line. Like, I don't know. But then, you know, everybody saying Razor did pull her pants down and what she did. But it was like, I guess she was trying to make a point like, you know, you want to touch or something or it's extra for that. So that's all I wanted to clear up on that, too, at the baddies was because it was like I didn't get my full, full clear up on that. But like, I'm going to be honest with y'all. That's probably like my least favorite episode. Like, I don't think I would ever, even if I do go back to watch it, because I feel like Baddie's South is like rewatchable. But even if I did go back to watch like the whole Baddie's West trailer, not trailer, like episodes when this is all said and done, I think I would have to skip past this episode because somebody made it another point too. They was like, the way Razor was screaming, they was like, I could hear like, you know, like her inner child. And I'm like, oh, shit, like that shit. I think like I think today, I think today, you know, I thought that maybe my energy was off because of, you know, like the whole why well, did that Monday? So that's, that can't be an excuse. But I think my energy was off after I watched it or like when I was like reviewing it to you guys and I was telling you about it because I think that's what I was hearing. Like, I think I was hearing like her and the child, like somebody like screaming, like it's OK to go buck wild. And if you lose, you know, keep getting back up, fighting, talk ish. You feel me? Like that's what persuasion should have did to pregnant street fighter. But. You know, that didn't happen that way. So my whole thing is like, I totally get where, you know, even though I don't think Scotty did nothing on purpose, I totally get where Razor was coming from. Is that like my favorite character anymore? No, but I'm not going to hold nothing against her, though, because I just you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to feel like I'm holding nothing against anybody. 
And, you know, like we all we all have our days, so we can't really like go against Razor. But that's my real feelings, like uncensored, unfried. You know what I mean? On Razor. So that's that. Um, Let's talk about Jason Lee new show. Just a quick second. So, you know, I think Jason Lee, he has the budget for the new show. It looks very professional. But this is my thing with Jason Lee and his new show. Because he's been having guests come on and everything. And how I feel about Jason Lee. Hold on, y'all. We got to take a puff. We about to start smoking. Mm. Okay, now y'all can say I'm fried. Well, I'm not. But y'all know what I mean. It's just a metaphor. Um, Jason Lee. I feel like Jason Lee, he refers to himself too much. And that's what takes away from the show. Because we don't want to hear about your stories and stuff like that. Like, I feel like every story that Jason and told, I didn't damn near heard because he talks over every guest. I just feel like it's people that come to sit and listen to him. And I feel like when you are so wrapped around and evolved around yourself, that's when you become and not saying like I'm saying it in like, um, because you can be wrapped around and evolved around yourself in a good way. But I'm saying it in like. One of those ways where, like, I don't know, like, it's just, like, arrogant in a sense. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, you really, I forgot I forgot the word for it, but self-centered. Jason is, like, self-centered, and I think that's where, like, his show going to be the downfall. Don't get me wrong, he do know people, but I think it's going to do exactly what Hollywood Unlocked did. You know... The first Hollywood Unlocked, I liked that Hollywood Unlocked where it was like Gio, Melissa, Jason, but then Jason be on board. But I feel like they kind of kept him in check. Like everybody had the show like worked out. Then Jason went to this whole other show with Blue and uh, DJ Damage. That was that would have potential, but Jason. Every time they had an interview, Jason did not want to do the interview with DJ Damage and Blue for the most part. Like when he had big interviews, I wanted to hear with. Excuse me, I wanted to hear what DJ Damage and Blue had to say, but Jason was just so self centered through himself, so that's what really messed it up. So, no, I think the show won't last super super long. Like, have a long run like The Breakfast Club. No, but, you know, we shall see. Speaking of The Breakfast Club, y'all like the way I segment, uh, made that segment. Speaking of The Breakfast Club, Claudia Jordan, um, she recently started hosting The Breakfast Club. You know, Angela Yee left, so they, like, looking for new volunteers and stuff like that. And who should be on The Breakfast Club? I mean, last week, Ray J was on The Breakfast Club. I heard, like, 20 seconds of this shit and turned it off. Like, don't get me wrong. I like Ray J, but Ray J be, like, it be, he be overdoing it. And that's why I think I really just don't be here for Ray J antics. Like, I don't know. I feel like your IQ score got to be, like, 2% to just be up there like i don't know just listening to ray j like he cool but it's just like ray j just be doing the most for me um anyway claudia actually i actually learned something new today i actually do like like to listen to claudia like don't get me wrong i watch tgif and you know like i watch it for all of them for the most part like I think Claudia was really attracted me to it, but then I was like, Q was there, Funky Naniva, so I was like, all right, cool, you know, I watch it, and then, what's the guy name, I'll, you know, like, I, I have a hate-love relationship with them, when I, like, hear they shit every week, it's like, oh, uh, no, yes, yeah, like, last week, they had it on point, um, but yeah, that was that, and, um, DDG and, um, Holly Bailey, Oh, I was saying, I think Claudia should be on the Breakfast Club. I just realized, like, you know, I ended up really liking her. And a lot of comments say, you know, bring her on as a permanent host. I can see it being a lot of drama. It, like, revamping itself, being controversial. But also, like, I could see, I don't know, like, y'all know Claudia got a mouth on her. So, that's that. But I wouldn't mind watching the Breakfast Club again if Claudia came on. Like, I think she's really fire. Um... 
DDG and Haley Bailey. We're going to spend five minutes on that. No, we're not. No, we're not. Because I got to talk about uh, pregnant street fighter smoking. DDG and Haley Bailey, their relationship, you know, I do think they kind of broke up because they said they unfiled each other, which that was well, not them, but they settled on mine and etc. And I'm not like the biggest DDG. I like one song by him. I, I'm not like the biggest DDG fan, though. I never thought she should have got with him. Like, I thought she should have went for, like, an accountant or something. Then as this has been, as the movie has been rolling out, I said to myself, I said, yo, she better not get up because Disney, they will cut that shit in a quick second. They don't care how much they film. D Disney got, like, billions and billions of dollars. Like, she better not fuck it up. And what happened, they said they were supposed to premiere something through the halftime show. The Little Mermaid trailer. And what happened, it didn't go. You want to know why? Because sources said, I heard this on the radio show, sources said that the DDG shit was too much. And I knew it. I knew he was going to give her problems. Like, I knew a whole other thing. I knew... DDG was going to give her problems and it was going to be a mess. And here we are thinking that Chloe is the one that's going down the drain and really highly about to cut shit up. Like, I'm just like, miss, come on. But we'll see how this plays out. Hopefully, Holly just stick to another boat, get on another ride. Right? You better not fuck this up for us, miss. Um... Let's go to Pregnant Street Fighter Smoking. Um, I'm going to try to get more information while I'm on here. Y'all know if y'all heard last week, I don't really like to listen or see nothing about her anymore. But they said that she was smoking in the club. And this was on Zeus T Network. I'm looking at it right now. Um... What is Zeus down bad? Because why the fuck Rock out of camp? No, that's not it. That's not it. Where is it at? I literally, they had to delete this. I literally just said she was smoking in the fucking uh, club. They said, listen, I don't know who just reported it, but somebody just reported that um, Rock was smoking. Well, she was smoking in a club. But did y'all see the leaks? And it's so corny, too, since we on Blueface and Krishan. It's so corny, too, how now he's leaking shit about Krishan. And this is just giving me one big-ass fucking stunt. Like, this is giving me, like, a big-ass stunt. Like, let's do this, let's do that. Now this tweets, his messages. She getting caught with fucking... You know, she taking pictures with Rick Ross. It's like we live in a weird ass time right now. Cause I just, I feel like I've seen this shit somewhere before. Like, I don't fucking know, y'all. I really don't fucking know. But I could never be a miserable woman on the internet posting miserable quotes all day. Like, girl, that man don't want you to get over it. Who, who time he talking about? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm on this fucking, this, this thing reading and shit. Really just trying to end off on a good note. But Roly responds to Biggie. Shade through on Big O Live. What's this? I'm like, this must be talking to Roly because she ain't talking to me. Then this said, I'm like, this must be talking what? to Roly because she ain't talking to me. Round. <sighs> See? Now Rolly gonna have to beat her up at the uh I don't know, this reunion gonna be crazy. This this I was just saying this to myself the other day. Natalie did her thing with this cast. I'm not gonna hold you. That's Erica Minna. Chloe Bailey revealed she turned in her solo album. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just being who is that? Shut up. Amber Rose shares and get Amber Rose. She, I hope, really hope she's not about to be popping up on my timeline all crazy. Uh, let me see. Who the fuck is that? 
I'm, I'm over here about to get copyrighted. Then the video really not going to go nowhere. Oh, did y'all see uh, Rihanna Vogue pictures? Shit. Oh, they look nice.